What's going on guys? I'm Ryan and this is Michigan Storm Chasers. Welcome to the channel. Forecast update video for you guys for your Monday and also Tuesday severe weather risks here in the state of Michigan. Let's go ahead and dive into the forecast. Before I get too deep into this video, I want to say a shout out to today's sponsor, On Top Roofing. They're based in Livingston County in Southeast Michigan. For all your roofing needs, get a hold of On Top. Number on your screen is 810-588-588. 3933. Thank you to On Top Roofing for being today's sponsor of our YouTube video and also our Facebook page as they are a spotlight sponsor today. The SPC continues to highlight severe risks as far east as Alma, almost to Lansing, not quite to Lansing, but Battle Creek, as well as Ross Common Sheboygan areas. The risk increases the further west you go. Highest over in the orange area, Ironwood, Marquette, Iron Mountain, Menominee, Houghton areas. It is a little bit lower, but still a risk there in yellow. Places like Ewan, Escanaba, Traverse City, Manistee, perhaps even the northern half of the Grand Rapids Metro. Further east there in that darker green, we do have that lower severe risk here from Sheboygan down to Benton Harbor. And then even further east in light green is just your general thunderstorm risk. This is Monday, valid 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. here on this Monday or not this, but on Monday. So basically it goes into effect here um, Monday morning at 7 a.m. And it goes into effect Tuesday morning. That's when it ends, 7 a.m. So it's a 24-hour outlook here. All right. Risks associated with this potential severe risk. Number one is going to be damaging wind. That is your primary risk there. In red, up in the western part of the UP, that is your highest concern. A little lower concern further to the east there in yellow. And then even less concern there in dark brownish red color further east. Places like the Ross Common, Mount Pleasant areas. And then the white color there, there is no risk or no probability for damaging winds. Going to the hail risk here, we do have a similar setup here, although we do have a hatched area that does push in close to Ironwood. So that means golf ball size hail or larger, a possibility there. And again, highest concern in the red areas, a little bit lower concern there in the yellow and the lowest concern there in the dark brownish red color. And then last but not least, the tornado threat here does exist. We have a 10% hatched area for places like Iron Mountain and Ironwood. That means a significant tornado EF2 or higher is possible there because we have a lot of wind shear, a lot of instability. But outside of that general area, we do have a 5% brown red color there for places like Houghton Marquette. Further east, a 2% risk there in green for places like Ewan, like Traverse City, like Manistee, and perhaps as far south as Ottawa County, Grand Rapids area. So all hazards in place here Monday night. Let's go to the model here and talk about what to expect. This is one of the models that we're trusting as of right now to bring the most accurate uh, depiction. We're gonna have more models today, so stay tuned. More data will be coming available later. This is what we're gonna work with right now, and we do think it has a pretty good handle on things based on what we're seeing. So we're gonna to start today with just a passing shower possible up in the UP, Not, no big deal there. As we move into Monday night, or sorry, tonight into Monday morning, we're gonna notice a dry trend here, dry, dry. Now we're in Monday morning, Monday afternoon here. Attention turns to the Western UP here where we have storms and showers pushing in to the area. This is 3 p.m. Eastern, go to 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. These should not be severe, okay? So you may have rain early, but severe weather holds off until we get later on. Here's 8 p.m., here's 9 p.m., here's 10 p.m. We're gonna pause it right there. There is our main concern here for our severe risk, this line right here. As that pushes into the western part of the UP at 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Eastern, that will bring your risk for all hazards, wind, hail, tornadoes. That'll happen late Monday and it continues into early Tuesday morning. Here's midnight, again, Eastern time. Here's 1 a.m., here's 2 a.m. By the time you get to about 3 or 4 in the morning, that line starts to weaken and should not have much of a concern past that 4 or 5 a.m. time frame. That is where the model starts really kind of weakening and this kind of dissolving these storms, all right? Then, attention then turns to Monday. Monday, we've been talking about the, or sorry, Tuesday. Tuesday, we've been talking about this risk the SPC has had in Michigan. It's kept shifting south and further south. And this morning, they have shifted pretty much the entire risk out of the state into Ohio and Indiana. The only places in a severe risk per the SPC are Lenawee and Monroe counties. 
keep an eye on that. But the reason for that is this cold front that is driving these storms to the south and east. If you go ahead and switch it over here to our surface instability or storm fuel, we're going to notice that the instability axis really shifts out of the state. Here is noon Tuesday as these storms are dissolving. By the time storms get to fire up about three, four o'clock in the afternoon, there's your instability access here. There's not much of it around in southeast Michigan, according to this model. If we go over here to the GFS model, though, the GFS similar picture, but it does show a brief window here around two o'clock. If storms can get going early, we may have a shot there in southeast Michigan for a severe storm, but it's a very unlikely scenario at this point as that cold front has really sped up. And that should also speed storm timing up to the point where it's out of the state or just about out of the state by the time we get storms popping for Tuesday afternoon. So potentially a lower, much lower risk than expected here for the Tuesday time frame. Again, if that slows down again, we could see a, see a shift back into southeast Michigan. But for right now, the trend is a much quicker passing of that cold front, which will lower the threat for Tuesday. That means the Monday night concern here is highest as of right now, as of 8.55 a.m. here Sunday morning. The threat is much higher for the UP than it is anywhere else in Michigan between Monday and Tuesday combined. All right, that is your forecast. We'll be live tonight, 7 p.m. Facebook, uh, YouTube, X, and Twitch for a live briefing talk about this again in detail with updated forecast models and also a look at your week ahead here in the state of Michigan. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to pop out of here. You guys enjoy your Sunday. It is going to be a nice day out there. 60s and lots of sun for most of us at least. Get out there and enjoy it. Get some yard work done if you can. I'll catch you guys tonight and also tomorrow for another update video here at Michigan Storm Chasers.